the Jim Harrison hurdle is next. This is a two mile five furlong maiden hurdle in a field of just four for this one. At the top, we've got Jan Box Johnny for Padre Gogan, Bull Nakano, Matt Cooper, Indian Queens, Darren Thompson, and Judge Anderson for Joshua Sutherland. Now just the four for this and called in and away the rain stopped and Jan books jolly and there's the one that's gone into the early lead from um, Indian Queens in second George Anderson third and Bull Nakano is in fourth as they head towards the first of 11 flights of hurdles they've got to take so one less than in the previous race I'm racing over a three furlong shorter trip so Jan books jolly Gets to the first and lands in the lead from Judge Anderson second. Indian Queens is third. Bull Nakano is fourth. Heading down towards the next. The second, which they're all safely over. And I was chatting to Gray last night, and we've both of the opinion that with so few horses as they get to the third. Opportunities are going to be there for people to win. We reckon that somebody is going to hit the 100 winners for the season for the first time this season. And they get over the fourth. Josh and Leon have both been in the 80s in the National Hunt, and Paul Rhodes has been in the 70s on the flat. But nobody's managed the 100 yet. But I think they might do this year, as there will be plenty of opportunities for small field wins. And careful placement will definitely see somebody. Hit the 100 mark, that's my tip anyway. Unless we get a massive influx of people this week and then the six week break. I think there's going to be a great opportunity also for some of the lower and more middling trainers to pick up some wins if they're careful where they're placing their horses as well. Could be one or two big numbers posted for people. Now, Jam Box Johnny is the leader anyway. From Judge Anderson second, Indian Queens third, and Bull Nakano already a few lengths adrift in fourth. But we'll pick up fourth place prize money if he gets round. They're well spread out, really. Well spaced out at the moment. Strung out was the term I was looking for. Chan uh, Box Jolly in the lead by a couple. To George Anderson second. Indian Queens third. And a ten length gap then to Bull Nakano. Who's back in fourth? Indian file all the way. Jan Box Jolly for Padre Hogan. George Anderson for Joshua Sutherland. Indian Queens for Darren Thompson. And then Paul Nakano for Matt Cooper. As we make our way down towards flight number seven. And we'll safely have flight number seven. It'll be difficult for the handicappers this season as well. With small fields, how do you rate the, the horses? I mean, what on earth are you going to give Bull Nakano here if the race finishes like this? It's going to be difficult to gauge, really. Fancy that job much. Jam Box Jolly is in the lead, so well done to those that do it. Indian Queen second, Judge Anderson third. And a big, big gap back to Bull Nakano. I think Patrick Hogan probably knows that if he beats a Darren Thompson or a Joshua Sutherland, well, he's probably going to get a bit of a hefty rating as well. So that's another thing. I mean, you've got to be concerned in these early weeks of the season. You just get a flash in the pan, lucky win, and you could, your thoughts could be on a mark where it's completely out of the whole season so over the fourth last mistake there by Indian Queens Jam Box Johnny looks to be going well in the lead and it's a good six lengths clear with just three to take it's over the third last and a slow jump by George Anderson Indian Queens trying to get going but they're struggling those two to catch this leader as they get over the second last and Jam Box Johnny and he's well clear and this could be a significant win this because this could signify that Badrag Hogan is ready to 
get back to the top table and get over the final flight. Now George Anderson starts to motor. There's a furlong still to go. He's left it very late to throw down the challenge, but I don't think he's going to get there. And Jam Box Jolly is going to take this one and wins it. George Anderson is second. Indian Queens is back in third. And Bob Bacano is somewhere back in fourth place. You can see they just quite how far back that one is, so good luck to the handicapper trying to work that lot out. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one.